What we're doing today here is uh, spat bag collections. So we went out early this morning on the boat and we took, uh, went out to the four spat line locations. We were to collect uh, five bags from each line, uh, 20 bags total. And what we're doing is, uh, they're set out there at four different locations. We have Snug Harbor, Strawberry Point, at the Sanctuary, and a little bit further north at Smelt, Smeltbrook Cove. So we're going through the bags. We have people on the shoreline right now, uh, hosing down the bags, going through the, using the sieves to go through them and finding uh, real small spat, uh, anywhere from like 0.5 to uh, possibly up to 13 millimeters in size. And uh, we're going through them and counting out to see how many spat fell on each one of those individual lines. So you have to measure it now? Yep, we go, we measure and then we we'll put it in the water, so hopefully it is. We monitor each location and one of the things we're trying to do is figure out where does the spat settle? You know, when the when, when the spat gets released from the adult scallops, where does it actually go? And so we're trying to figure out what the circulation is like in this pond and where those spat actually go. And then the next part that we do, and we've already done this this year, we've done um, over 30 dive surveys. And those dive surveys consist of um, uh, a, a uh, 50 meter transect. We go down, have two divers, and we divers go down there and look specifically for adult scallops to figure out where the population actually is. So based upon the dive surveys and based upon the spat bag analysis that we're doing right now, we can get a, a pretty decent idea of what the population is approximately. And we've had some extremely high numbers of spat and it's a really really good sign because it shows that the 20,000 scallops that we were able to put in the water earlier in the springtime um, are actually those scallops are actually spawning and the spat are getting in the water and it's a great sign not only for the ecosystem but for the scallop population. Historically there used to be a huge population of scallops but because of a number of reasons those numbers have really gone down and this this effort here is really going to make a big difference in getting that population back up to where we like to see it not only for the, the ecosystem itself but for people uh, the, for for residents for tourists they have these great stories these great anecdotal stories about just scallops and their population in the ponds and we want to get it back to that this is a great restoration project it would be great to see a self-sustaining population of uh, bay scallops here in Point Judith Pond as well as in oh, amongst the other ponds along the south coast of Rhode Island uh, and this is uh, one of our stepping stones is to try this project here. This is a continuation of the North Cape uh, restoration efforts that took place uh, from 2004 through 2008 and uh, we're just trying to continue it and, and enhance the populations throughout the, the different ecosystems.